Hi everyone, it's Sam here from samsentiments.co.uk Today I thought I would show you this beautiful pink baby card that I made using the Blushing Bride cardstock and the DSP from the All A Bloom DSP stack. The images came from one of the new stamp sets called Baby We've Grown and it's got some really sweet baby images on. Obviously you can see here I used some beautiful little girl booties and on the next card I'm going to make, I'm going to use the boy booties and we're going to obviously going to make it in blue. So the card stock that we're using today is the Soft Sky and the size of this card is a 5 by 7 so you need a piece of stock, card stock that measures 10 inches by 7 inches and scored at 5 in the middle. Now I didn't have at the time any DSP that matched the card stock so I decided that I would make my own. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock measuring four and a half by six and a half. And I'm just going to stamp a nice random pattern on it. I'm using my stamping piercing mat um, because it just helps make a, a much clearer image. The stamps that I'm going to use is the Gorgeous Grunge and I'm going to use the Paint Splatter image there at the top. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to use two different shades of blue, beginning with the Soft Sky and I'm just going to randomly stamp those splotches. Splotches, is that a word? But hey ho, let's carry on. <laughs> I'm just going to stamp those splotches all over the card. There's no rhyme or reason to how we're doing this, just wherever it lands is where it goes. And just so you know, I'm doing a voiceover on this video today because when I filmed this video, the house was extremely noisy. I have an 11 month old puppy that's, well, just nuts. And a 15 year old son that can't shut a door without slamming it. I'm sure uh, there's a lot of you out there who can relate to that. So hence the narration. Anyway, back to the video. The next colour we're using is Marina Mist. It's a slightly darker blue. And again, we're just going to go straight over that and randomly stamp it. It does actually give a really nice pattern, you can't really pick that up on the video so I will hopefully be able to show that a little bit more clear on the photographs at the end. And there we go, just randomly stamping it. And then we're going to pop that to one side, out of the way, just to leave it to dry for a little while. So the next thing we're going to move on to is the banners in the middle using the banner frame that dies and we're going to cut the largest one out of the sky soft sky sorry and the smaller one out of the whisper white so for this you need the largest of the framelets for the blue banner and the second largest for the white one there you go obviously I've not cut those out on screen because the big shot's just too big to get on camera really and it'll wobble the table and give you all a headache. So I'm lining the white banner up with my grid paper and that'll help with me aligning the stamp up in the right place to align the image up. So I'm starting with a sweet baby image or sentiment and we're going to be stamping that in the soft sky ink. There we go, and like I said, we're going to be help using the grid paper to help us line that up. And we're stamping that quite near the top. So the next image we're going to stamp are the little boys' pumps, really. They're not really booties, they're pumps. And we're going to stamp those slightly towards the bottom of the banner so that you've got quite a gap in between the sentiment and the image. Now the word baby in the sentiment is just an outline so what I decided to do was colour it in. Oh, well first of all we're going to stick that down sorry I'm jumping the gun a little bit there so first of all we'll use some snail and we'll stick those two together and layer it and once I've done that then we will go in and colour the word baby in There we go. So 
I don't have a Stampin' Right marker in the Soft Sky yet, um, but what I do have is the Stampin' Up blender pens. Now they they are great um, because you can pick the ink up from your ink pad and use your blender pens to colour with. So all you have to do is close your ink pad, give it a little squeeze, open it up again, and there you go, you've got a little bit of ink from the lid on the inside. The blender pens are, they come in a set of three, and they're just clear. They've got a clear blending solution inside. So all you have to do is dip it in the ink and just colour it in in the same way as you would any other marker. Now I've sped this next little bit up because the last thing you want to do is to sit there watching me colouring for ages and ages. There we go now that's all done so the next thing to do is to pop this onto the card with the pat newly created pattern paper so we'll use the snail to stick the pattern paper onto the front of the card. I like to use plenty of snail. I don't like to think of my cards falling to pieces. And there we go, stick it on, being careful to leave an even border all the way around. What I've also done is I've taken another piece of Whisper White cardstock, also measuring four and a half by six and a half, and I've taken the little blue pumps and just stamped them in the bottom corner, just as a little accent. And then we're going to stick that down using snail again onto the inside of the card so that you've got a nice white space to write your message. Again, using plenty of snail and lining it up to make sure that there's an even border around the edge. So we're going to pop the banners up on dimensionals, but before we do that, I want to stick a little piece of a little bit of twine around the middle of the ribbon of the banner oh can't get my words out sorry so on the girl card you saw that we used some pink ribbon so for the boy I thought we'd use some of our whisper white baker's twine now you can see because the baker's twine is stored on those cardboard reels you get little kinks in the twine so all I do is run it through my thumb and the bone folder as if you were curling ribbon or paper and that gets rid of the kinks for you. So we're just going to wrap that round the banner a few times and tie it in a bow. Now, if you remember in my first video, I told you I was rubbish at tying bows. Well, now you're going to see just how rubbish I am. I've got my scissors with my new charms, thanks to my upline, Sam. And here goes, let's tie a bow. It doesn't turn out too badly, to be honest. It's not too bad. It's even worse being on camera. The pressure. You feel the pressure. There we go. And then you just pinch the middle. And you just rearrange it and fiddle with it a little bit until it's how you want it to be. And then once you've got the bunny ears right, you just trim the edges, trim the tails. And 
And there you go, just trim those tails off. That's not too bad really, considering. So we're going to pop the banner up using some of our stamping dimensionals. Again, I like to use plenty. I really did use plenty there, didn't I? I'm going to take the backs off and pop it on. it in the middle again leaving an even border around the outside and that's about it really it's our little boy version of the pink floral card that I made earlier in the week so that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, head on over to my blog www.samsentiments.co.uk there's a link on the right hand side of the page um, to my Stampin' Up shop if you would like to buy any of the products that you've seen. If you like the video please feel free to leave a comment and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Anyway until next time, bye!